Hey everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So one of the questions this week uh, that came out of my riveting videos was um, a request to talk about the different uh, rivet squeezer options and the yokes and things like that. Um, so this is a, you, you've probably seen a pneumatic rivet, rivet squeezer and a manual rivet squeezer. Um, let's, I guess, first start with the manual rivet squeezer and just a quick overview of this. This is a sort of a, a fancier uh, rivet squeezer. This is one of, I think this is called the, the main squeeze from, from Cleveland. Um, and it's got a cam system, which you can just barely see in here, um, which makes it so that uh, you get a little bit of a mechanical advantage. Um, I tried both of these when I was shopping uh, rivet squeezers. I would try this one and the regular one. And this one is definitely a lot easier to use. There's a lot less work involved in, the, in doing the squeezing. Um, and then there's the pneumatic one, which you hook up to a pose, and you know you lift it, and you squeeze it, and it does the squeezing for you. Um, these are pricier, uh, but I found that it is actually uh, worth the extra expense. Um, I probably use the pneumatic squeezer, I don't know, four or five times more than I use the hand squeezer. Um, the, the main differences are the pneumatic squeezer, uh, of course, does the work for you, right? You just do that over and over. Um, so you can get through a piece very quickly because you can do this one-handed. Um, let me just grab a piece and I can show you. So for example, uh, this J-channel, which is uh, usually down the wings of the RV series, um, there's you know a bunch of holes in line. And if I were to do that with this, I sort of have to, you know, it, it's not quite so easy. But with this guy, I just go one, two, three, four, five. So you can get through this very, very quickly, one-handed. It is heavier. <laughs> um, some of these tools are, quite heavy, this is probably, I don't know, like eight pounds. Um, so, you know, you're gonna get some strong arms. <laughs> but um, other than that, uh, you know, I probably use this a little more than this. There are a lot of instances in which this won't fit. You can see how wide this is here compared to, compared to that. So there's a lot of circumstances where this is really the only chance you're gonna get of uh, squeezing that rivet or uh, usually it's actually a dimple. Um, so I know it's more tools, more stuff to buy, but you you know you will end up using both. You can definitely do the, the whole airplane in this, and many people do. Many people don't buy these uh, these squeezers. Um, I have found that uh, you can get these on eBay, um, worn out versions, and you can buy the rebuild kit for this. Uh, Avery used to sell the rebuild kit. I don't know where to buy them nowadays now that Avery is um, no longer uh, selling tools. Uh, but you get the rebuild kit and it's got all of the seals and all of the like replacement parts in here So you can buy a run out version of this on eBay. Um, I want to say I bought two of them for I think it was $150 and uh, I spent another $50 on uh, rebuild kits and uh, I rebuilt them both kept one and sold the other one and it paid for the you know the cost of the tool Let's see, what else? Um, I do have these, uh, the drift pins in here that hold the yoke in place. I have, I have uh, these nice little ones with O-rings um, that hold them in place. I've seen a couple of different options for these, including ones that you have to put a clip on the side. Um, these are worth it. I think I wanna say I bought these from Cleveland Tool and um, you know there were a few bucks, right? Like it's, things like this, you know, help you. Um, when it comes to the size, uh, the different size yokes, you'll see I have four yokes here. Um, if you can point, I don't know if you can see the yokes. Um, there's four different yoke sizes over here. Um, so this is a slim nose four inch yoke. You'll see that there is not a spot for a rivet or a uh, die up here. It's just flat. Um, this tends to flex a good bit. So I try not to use this because there's not a lot of metal here and it will flex and it is a little finicky with, with rivets. So you, this is a sort of a last resort yoke for me. Um, then there's the regular, I think this is a one inch or a one and a half inch yoke. Uh, see, there's a ton of metal here, right? So this is not gonna flex. This is gonna be straight and it's gonna, and it's gonna work great. Um, I don't use this one very much because I find that this, I think this is like the two, two or three inch yoke or something like that. Um, 
This one doesn't flex for the rivet sizes that we use, and it's a little bigger. Um, so you'll get to use it in more sp more places. Um, so I would probably not buy this one if uh, I were buying yokes again, and I would just buy this one. Um, then there's also, uh, I think they call this the longer on yoke. It's got this extra spacing, right? So if you compare the two, um, you can see that this one's got this sort of bump out. And this is for situations where, for example, if this was already on the airplane and I needed to come around this way, right? So that gives me a little bit of space for me to, to mess with this rivet back here. Um, if you're gonna be squeezing rivets wherever you can, which I tend to prefer to squeeze rivets wherever I can because it's faster and it's easier for me to do by myself. Um, some people are really good at, uh, at bucking rivets with the rivet gun and it works great for them. Uh, for me, I try and squeeze when I can because I can do it faster and better. Um, this yoke does come in real handy then. Um, so uh, I think if I were to pick two yokes that um, I would buy or that I use the most, it would be this longer on yoke and the regular three inch or two inch, I don't know which size this one is, I think it's a three inch yoke. Um, get those two if you're gonna buy two. Uh, if you've got a little bit of money left over, airplane parts, right? Um, then I would maybe pick up this one, um, but be very careful with this. Uh, it's very specific use, um, and it will fold over rivets if you're not paying attention. But yeah, um, that's it. That's the main difference between the two rivet types and the different yokes and things like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it does help. Um, and I keep being told to tell you to like hit the little bell or something to get notified. Whatever, I just make videos for fun. So enjoy. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to talk about. Have a good day.